Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is Jimmy with Through the Top Crane. Of course it is. Who else would it be? Uh, we're heading out to do this 310 foot tall cell tower. We are in, uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you probably know now that it's a Tadano 180G 5. 200 standard ton crane or American tons. Hey there, YouTube. We are getting close to our tower site. We are on uh, Missouri Highway 111. This runs kind of parallel to I 29. I 29's off to our right. Uh, we're just north of Corning, Missouri, and south of Rockport, about 10 miles or so. Gotta jump out and check some stuff out. We're gonna block the road. Everybody behind us will have to have a little patience. pieces of the jib we got four of them stuck together or two of them stuck together 
makes two 40 foot pieces of jib. You gotta get those off there so we can get those red crane mats out from underneath them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the upper and let it start warming up. Throw my valves.
putting a jib on this thing is kind of a pain. A lot of work. A lot of climbing around. Just a lot of work. Especially putting 123 feet of jib on it. So what that entails is the swing away 43 foot piece that you can probably see a little bit of there on the side of the right side of the boom. We have to swing that out and pin it on the end of the boom and then it actually splits in half where those pins are right in front of those shivs. Well, I say half, it's not quite half, but it leaves a 17.8 foot section on the end of the boom and then you take the point off and then we stick all those pieces of jib together and put the point on the end of those so that gives us 123 feet of jib and then when we run out 197 feet of main it gives us a boom length of 320 feet and turns this thing into a fly rod which is always fun in youtube it's Jimmy with two of the top crane, and it is uh, Thursday. We're out here on the cell phone tower, just getting out here for the morning. Uh, yeah, we got rained out yesterday. Tuesday was a bit interesting. I wish I was recording. Uh, you guys missed quite the show. Uh, I'll try to describe to you what was going on, but. You can see I got the jib out there on the end. Hopefully you can see that. That's 43 foot of hydraulic luffing jib. You can see I'm raising it up. That's the term, luffing is the term for raising it and lowering that jib. Um, yeah, I had, a, I had that 43 foot piece on and I ran out all 197 feet of main boom. So I had a boom length of 240 feet with a tip height of about that was between 245 and 250 and the wind had been calm all day long I think the highest gust we had gotten was about 10 miles an hour anyway I swung over dropped the hook down got hooked up to the piece and out of nowhere the wind started going crazy um, I had him cut me loose from the piece real quick I was kind of scrambling around in here I, I wasn't panicking I knew what I had to do um, but I got it switched over to retract. I, you actually have to go into the computer and down here and hit some buttons and get set up for retract. But I was retracting in uh, high speed and trying to get this thing down as quick as I could. It was the wind was actually after they cut me loose from the piece, I got hit with in the side with all that boom out with a 44 mile an hour wind gust. The end of the boom was, uh, I'm gonna estimate about 10 feet or so out of alignment with the bottom of the boom because it was pushing it so hard. The 661 pound ball or pill was uh, probably close to 20 feet out from underneath the end of the, or the tip of the jib. And the end of the end of the jib was making about a 10 foot diameter circle just from the wind hitting it and I mean it was just once the wind came in it was just constant so uh, at that point I, I just worked on uh, getting myself swung to where the wind wasn't hitting me in the side and getting it retracted as quickly as I could um, but yeah that in my years of operating a crane that is one of the most nervous times I've had and to try to describe it in enough detail for you guys to maybe get a feeling for what it was like probably isn't going to happen. Put that back there, right? Hey Jimmy, once you get in, once you lock it, and we get everything hooked up, start lifting up, and we'll walk it again and try to get all the dirt off. Okay. Yeah.
dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Come here, bench maiden. Wash it off when we get back to the shop. Try to keep this stuff out of the dirt, but we're in a cornfield. It's kind of hard to do that sometimes. Right there it is, 123 feet of jib. It's uh, more length than what some boom trucks have for total boom length. <laughs> 